is Sammy J and Randy with the entertainment news. Thanks, Paul. Cheers, mate. Katie Holmes is set to make an appearance on How I Met Your Mother. Mm. The answer? I stopped her for a personality test outside Scientology headquarters. <laughs> That's how it happened. Mm. That's how it happened. Playboy model Holly Madison ensures her surgically enhanced breasts for $1 million. Her premium was lower, of course, as they're already fitted with airbags. <laughs> and if someone steals them, Holly will get to use a pair of courtesy boobs until she finds a suitable replacement. Mm. <laughs> Full coverage? Very rarely. Yeah. <laughs> Works on so many levels. Mm. In One. A bit... <laughs> One yeah. In a bid to appeal to a wider audience, Hollywood remakes Footloose for the Muslim and Jewish world. It's basically the same movie, but without bacon. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, you should, you should do your Kevin Bacon impression. I'm not doing my Kevin Bacon impression. Do your Kevin no. Bacon impression! Not, Go on! No Who wants to see his Bacon impression? Bacon! 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 Let's dance! <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, there it is! Best bacon ever. <clears throat> 90s rap idol Vanilla Ice is back behind the microphone, and if you're in LA this Friday, you can place your order with him before driving to the next window to collect your burgers. <laughs> Former Full House stars Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen are making a killing selling their latest fashion accessory, which is an alligator skin backpack that retails for up to $40,000. Mm. Each bag comes with a solid gold toggle and is packed with the broken dreams of an exploited childhood. That's some heavy baggage. Yeah, very heavy. Mm. And, and Shane Warne finally pops the question to Liz Hurley. Can I please have a pie? <laughs> Some claps. Mm. <laughs> Commentators say there's a 2020 chance the marriage will last. Yeah. <laughs> what does that actually mean? It's a cricket reference. You hate cricket. Yeah, and I'm just trying to appeal to a wider demographic. <laughs> Sell out. <laughs> In a desperate bid for a bigger audience, Channel 9 announces a controversial spin off of The Farmer Wants a Wife, reportedly called The Farmer Wants Another Farmer. <laughs> and Lindsay Lowen finally gets a job. And if you're in the audience, you can show your appreciation by stuffing a dollar bill in her ankle bracelet. Mm. <laughs> oh, a few Lindsay Lohan fans I in know. here. Sorry, the folks. Fan club's in. Singer Adele reconnects with the boyfriend who inspired her multi-platinum album, 21. Turns out he spent the last two years trapped in her hair. <laughs> uh, the Adele fan club I came know, along with the Lindsay so Lohan <laughs> fan club. It's all Lohan and Adele tonight. Yeah. Uh, American Pie star Jason Biggs and his wife admit to having a threesome in a hotel room. Mm. Chicken and mushroom. Hot! Ow! And that's the entertainment news. I know. Huge stories happening all over the good news world this week, so we cross now to our team of global correspondents. First up, Tom Gleason in Japan. The whale hunt is on, and the whalers have stated they are only catching whales for research. Really delicious research. <laughs> Claire Hooper in LA with a new development at the trial of Michael Jackson's doctor. Conrad Murray is now hoping to get the manslaughter charge reduced to incorrectly recycling his plastics. <laughs> Mikey Robbins at the aftermath of the government's tax forum. Ten politicians are still asleep, eight union officials are in a coma, and three economists have torn their own heads off. <laughs> Wayne Swan has said, it's a good start. <laughs> Cal Wilson in London. Good news, Paul. The skeleton found near Buckingham Palace has been reunited with her husband, David Beckham. <laughs> Tom Gleason at Facebook headquarters in California. Founder Mark Zuckerberg has admitted that he really does spend all day on his social networking site, despite emails from his mum to go outside and play. <laughs> Claire Hooper on the class action lawsuit against the ANZ Bank. <laughs> Mikey Robbins in Cape Town. Archbishop Desmond Tutu has celebrated his 80th birthday on his private train. The Tutu Choo Choo. 
Oh, there's more. <laughs> he said as much fun as turning 80 is, he's looking forward to turning 81 and then 82 too. <laughs> Cal Wilson on the new paranoia epidemic. Why are you filming me? <laughs> Tom Gleason in the US at the trial of the alleged underpants bomber. Apparently it's the only bomb that can be detonated by half a mongrel. <laughs> Claire Hooper, embedded at the Labour Party. Shit party, Paul. No fairy bread, no cake, and they're all sitting around playing murder in the dark. <laughs> Mikey Robbins in Adelaide. Following recent bikey shootings, police have raided the Finks clubhouse. They took into custody the Finks in the game room, Finks in the office, Finks in the bathroom, Finks in the garage. In fact, they took everything but the kitchen Finks. And Cal Wilson on the new Australian Nobel Prize winner. Professor Brian Schmidt says he thought it was a prank call when he heard a Swedish accent on the phone, especially when it went. <laughs> Lots more ahead on Good News World, including our review and critique of the pictures of the week. <laughs> Love it. The photograph that broke Delta Goodrum's heart, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>